and good evening all. Welcome to Sunday Run Day tonight. Tonight is a little bit of a Barbados off. I'm going to be focusing on my first ever, I've never tried this ever, and I've not even broken the seal yet, uh, my first ever tasting of a Mount Gay Black Barrel. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a little head-to-head -head with Plantation uh, sort of five-year-old, and what's the other one? Dorley's five-year-old. But I'm not actually sure whether the Dorley's XO should come out to play in this tonight. So uh, that's what's in store. I'm going to be diving into those in a bit. I've got a couple of little things to chat about before that, but that is your rum of choice uh, tonight. So a little bit of a Barbados off. So before we go any further, uh, let's say hello to people in the comments. We've got Strike F. 16 Falcon, hello. Uh, Andy B, Greg, Top Cheese, uh, Neil, Kevin, Windy, Sean, uh, Bingo Ringo. Uh, who else we got? Ross C, hang on, I'll come back to C in a minute. Karen Mason, Decky Doughty, uh, Claire. Who else we got? Lee, Ganimal, Havana, Steve, Sean, uh, Gus, Nick. David, hello, hello, hello. Ian's there as well. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, what was I going to say? Havana Steve, just before I go any further, I know I did say I was going to do your little goslings tonight. I think, for some unknown reason, I'm going to bracket this in as kind of a navy rum. I know it's sort of not, but is. Uh, but I'm going to taste this on Black Tot Day uh, at the end of the month. Uh, so I'm going to save it till then because uh, we're going to have a little bit of a navy rum thing. And I think Gosling's Reserve, and Gosling's in general, does sort of fit into navy rum territory. So I'm going to save that until the 31st of July. Uh, so that's that. I've still got your AB Gold there. Uh, might, what, not next week, the week after, I'll, I'll taste that. Uh, so that's that. C, let me come back to you. C, uh, I'm not sure if you are in the Discord. I don't know what your name is. I just know it's C. Welcome to the membership community. Uh, I'm sure these guys will help you in to uh, Discord. I've just got to trigger the bot. If you if you are in Discord, I've got just got to trigger the bot to kind of let you into the membership area. So welcome, uh, welcome to if you are um, if you if you if you are in a Discord, then hello, uh, make yourself known to me. If you are not coming, say hello. Let us know what your real name is, and then uh, as I say, I'll make sure the rest of the Discord, the membership area of the Discord, is open to you. Uh, so that is C. Uh, can, I, can I put your name on screen? I think I could put your name on screen. Where are you? There, that one. C. There you go. Boom. Uh, it's our newest member. Just joined, I think joined about a couple of hours ago, I do believe. Uh, so hide. Right, there we go. So who else has just joined us? Henry in Germany. Lee Wilson. Hello, Lee. Right. Uh, I did ask what everyone's favourite Barbados rum is. We've got a few shouts of Mount Gay uh, going on here. Um, I've seen Andy B's um, uh, photo in Discord about his little uh, Mount Gay collection. That's awesome. Uh, Top Cheese, RL Seals, 10-year-old, and uh, Plantation Grand Reserve. Well, obviously, we don't get the Grand Reserve in uh, in the UK, but yeah, the t t I've tried, I tried the 10-year-old, Seals 10, uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was all right. It wasn't my favourite. It was all right. Um, but I'd love to kind of revisit it in normal... Um, taste it in in this kind of scenario so yes uh who else anyone else any other barbados rums in here uh plantation five and mount gay eclipse from sean panabaker uh, scott's in the discord i'm in discord chris 1981 all right chris uh i'll do it after the live stream is finished i will um i will trigger the bot to let you into the membership area so do not let me forget alistair hello alistair plantation and gus awesome right i haven't seen him yet uh but i need to do a kind of a little let's do this as well uh before i forget Let's do that. Make sure you smash that like button. That really helps us out as well. If you haven't done so already, that puts, basically YouTube thinks, oh, that's cool. It just puts the, the stream in front of more people. So smash that like button. That, that really helps us out. Lovely, jubbly. Right, I haven't seen him, but I need to give uh, a little shout out to Marky. Uh, Mark, very, very kindly, uh, sort of sent me these awesome, uh, Mark Thomas, this is, sent me these um Mai Tai glasses, which are flipping awesome. I've wanted some proper Mai Tai glasses for ages. 
And they're, they're just tumblers, but they've kind of got like the patterns on there to make sort of cool little night tide glasses. And they come with this. They come from High Tide, which is High Tide Recordings, like that. Uh, they are like a record label, but for some of no reason, they sell Mai Tai glasses as well. <laughs> so, I thought to start the show, I thought I'd christen them, because I haven't christened them yet. So, I'm going to make a Mai Tai to start the show uh, for my drink before I dive into um, some, uh, some Barbadian rum tasting. So, I'm going to quickly just do this, uh, and I'm going to do, as Wendy's here, I'm going to go a little bit crazy for the old Mai Tai blend. I'm going to use some sherry. <laughs> I'm going to use some 5 plus 5, Wendy. It's sitting right there as you ask for it to sort of be centered stage in the middle. It's right there, look. So I'm going to do that, but uh, let's just do this. So Mai Tai is kind of, for those of you that don't know, it's kind of like um, uh, an almondy, orangey daiquiri, if we like. So, um, there we go. I've got that. I've got that. Uh, let's do my lime juice first. So, uh, that's the wrong end. Oh, let's do, let's do that end. No. We want that one. There we go. So 30 ml of lime juice. I'm going to be testing these Barbados rums as well with mixers as well because I very much appreciate that these sort of rums are in that price point where a lot of you have got to drink them with rum and coke and rum and ginger. So there's going to be a few mixers coming out to play tonight. Uh, so uh, I've got some lime juice. This is my blend of orange liqueurs. I've got a bit of Compagnero in there. I've got a lot of uh, Giffard, uh, Curacao Triple Sec. Got a tiny bit of Fortunella in there. Uh, I'm just going to kind of blend them all together until I get my Mandarin Napoleon. Uh, so it's my orange liqueur. My lovely. Let's put that. That goes up there. Uh, I've got my Demerara with sugar. Bit of Dem. There we go, about a third of an ounce of them. Uh, blend of Orgeat syrup, so ODK, sort of two thirds ODK, one third William Fox. Um, we're going for just about half an ounce of Orgeat in there as well. And then, uh, rum blends. Right, so, rum blend. What did I write down for this? I was just kind of doing this just before I went live. I think I'm gonna do a crazy rum blend for this. Uh, one, two. Uh, Pusses and Worthy and uh, Black Tot. I think I'm doing that as a rum blend. I think that's. I think that should be a little bit special. Bit of uh, bit of Dos Madeiros five plus five. A little bit of a sherry cask. We've got some dark Jamaican rum in there. Uh, we've got a bit of Black Tot, which is kind of like a nice sort of blended, and um, sort of Guyana and rum overproof. Well, maybe strength um, sort of going there uh, from Guyana. So I think. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna try it. I've basically, <coughs> basically I still haven't uh, replenished the IFTD, so the IFTD is a little bit empty in there. That's why. So, a bit crazy. I could do half an ounce of each. Uh, so, there's the old five plus five. Windy's going, oh my God. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of the 109. So this is um, Navy strength as well. Obviously 54 and a half percent. So it's quite strong on this actually. I hadn't thought of that. 46.2% for the old uh, black top. Lovely. And then 54.5% uh, for the old gunpowder proof. There we go. Lovely. Half an ounce of that. Right. My ties. My ties in the house. It's also the, the eve of Imbibe. There's a lot of us down at Imbibe, the big old bar show tomorrow. So. Uh, catching trains and God knows what else tonight. I've redesigned, that was the other thing I was gonna talk about. I don't know whether anyone's noticed that it's uh, has it in it. I've kind of redesigned the back of the bar as well. Let, let's, let's just give you a full, and to make it really easy, I can't, it's still not on screen, but all the spiced, all the spiced rums are up there on another shelf just off camera. So we've got the coconut rums, we've got all the Tums, uh, Hursty's sort of two swallows uh, and all that. But yeah, so we've got an extra, Charlie, I don't know whether Charlie, Charlie, I don't know whether you're watching. Um, Charlie, Australian Charlie, who's actually in London at the moment. I've got my, um, this will be another show coming up very soon. I've got my Australian rums there, courtesy of Charlie. Maple, this is like maple syrup. So uh, yes, we shall do an Australian show in the not too distant future as well. Good old Bundaberg, we'll have to do a video comparing Bundaberg to Mount Gay. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've redone the back bar. Um, on Windy, you will never see him, but on Windy's advice, I've, I've uh, 
stapled all my boxes above my head. If anyone's got any clever ideas of what to do with the tins, I've got loads of tins, like the rum tins, and they're all sort of over there somewhere. Uh, so if anyone's got any clever ideas what to do with them, that'd be useful. Because uh, I don't really want to bin them. Right, there we go. Loads and loads of ice in there. So basically what I'm saying, I've got to pull out ice drawer now. <laughs> so pull out ice drawer, lovely. Right, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. What's going down in the old comments now? Where, where did we get to? Where did we get to? Um, Mark Thomas, this is for you. Here he is. Right. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, Discord under Chris. Where did we get to? Didn't see the poll. My favourite Barbados rum is Mount Gay XO. And Black Barrel. Not sure the XO. Lovely. Uh, Mark Thomas. So Mark, I've just given you a shout out. I don't know when you came in, but I just gave you a shout out. Thank you very much for the Mai Tai glasses. And I'm just literally about to christen them. Uh, is Charlie on? Is Charlie on? Charlie's probably still on Australia time. No, he's, he's there. High Tide Records have the Hula Girls band. Ah, oh, Spikes. Is that all part of the same people? That's interesting. Spikes Breezeway um, is another YouTube channel, by the way. He does like tiki cocktails. Uh, so go and check him out. Um, Windy. Da, da, da. Don't shoot me, but I love Mount Gay Eclipse. Yeah, I'm going to have a little revisit of that tonight as well, Jennifer. Going to need a bit OP if you're using the 5 plus 5. <laughs> bingo, ringo. Right. Right, let's go for it. Ali Fraser, shout out to Ali and Janet sipping a Plantation XO for the first time. Hello, Ali Fraser and Janet, ha Ali and Janet. Let's, first time listeners, let's put you on screen as well. Uh, chat, there we go. We can do that. I've got, I've kind of rearranged. There we go. First time listeners. Right, oh, I can get rid of the scroll as well thing. The scroll's irritating me. Hide, there we go. Boom, right. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Let's have. Oh, oh, I don't know. Let's let's do it. Yeah, lovely, jubbly, and top it up with a bit there. I haven't got, I haven't got my lime husk, but I have, I have got a little bit of mint to do this properly. So this is in honour of Mark Thomas, Marky Mark, Marky Grim Grimsby. There we go. Nice bush of mint. There we go. I'll tell you what I have got. I have got here. I've got like a, a dehydrated lemon. There we go. We'll do that instead. So, uh, my first ever Mai Tai in my brand new Mai Tai glasses. Thank you very much, Marky Thomas. Let's put his face on screen as well if we can. Where's his last comment? I can't see. I can't see. I'm going to scroll for bloody ages now. There he is, ha ha, that'll do. That's, that's Mr. Mark Thomas. Right, Cheer. cheers Mark. Thank you very much for my Mai Tai glasses. What's this taste like? That's a flipping good Mai Tai. Oh, that's good, that's really good. Cheers. Right, oh that's really good. That's how to set the trap. There's something about drinking a Mai Tai in a proper Mai Tai glass. It's a little bit sweeter. I think those rums I've used are a little bit sweeter. Obviously the five plus five is a little bit sweeter anyway. It has got the, I reckon that five plus five does shine through a little bit in here. Bearing in mind there's three other rums plus Almond Demerara. Oh, that's tasty. That is tasty. Right. Um, let's, 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 let's just dive through these comments again and then we'll crack on with some Barbados rum in, in my new tasting glasses as well. David Brady at Black Parrot in London needs a shout out for this. Charlie and Garain, uh, Garain, I can't, I can't speak Welsh. Big G uh, will know exactly what these are. These are awesome. I've, I've actually done it. I've bought a whole, I've got two boxes of these cool little tasting glasses. Love them. Absolutely love them. So I'm going to be cracking those tonight. Right. Um, where do we got? 
Will you marry me? I want your rum collection. <laughs> right, where do we get to? Um, we got to there. Going to need a bit of that. Lee, let's see that. Lee, Lee, Lee. Bingo, Ringo. Love Bundy. Li live out in Oz for many years. The Bundy's, Bundy's pretty good. <laughs> it's just inoffensive. But comparing it to... Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to compare it to Captain Morgan's. But, you know, it's just... It's, it's a decent, it's, it's, it's a decent drink. It's not gonna, it's not gonna set the world on fire, but it's a, it's a really decent, sort of easy going rum. It's, it's quality. Rum and coke on draft Australia. I'll never forget that. Right, uh, Decky Doughty. Uh, Eclipse is a solid budget rum. No, no. Let's try and use these comments in here, and I can put stuff on screen when we go to. Right. Oh, Anne's here as well. Hello, Anne. Uh, Gus, Mount Gay XO, I think is a big jump in quality from the Eclipse, but the Eclipse is still decent for the price. Strike F16 Falcon. I'm just starting to really learn about rum. Strike F16 Falcon, come to the Discord. Uh, Scott, Scott's my kind of hall monitor, my, te my little uh, teacher's assistant. Uh, Scott will help you out. Uh, did I did see that. Uh, Robert Wilson, I love Plantation Five Year. David, very cool glasses. Top cheese. I'm so curious about the player. Right, I think I think it's time to crack on, isn't it? I think it's time to crack on. You take the Mickey, but I love the Dos Madeiras in the fight. I tell you what, that's that's I kind of like that. I'd be interested to see how much of a um, how much effect that sort of the, the Dos Madeiras actually has on that. Changing the rum blend, doing exactly the same cocktail, but taking the five plus five out. And like swapping it for an Appleton, that'd be kind of interesting. I kind of like that. That's quite tasty. Does anyone else use the Rum X? I'm up to 20s and so. Uh, I haven't used it at all this week. Well, let's let's put Rum X on the uh, on the old screen. Can we do that? This is what we use to kind of taste uh, Oliver. Big shout out to Oliver. I can never remember Oliver's business partner, his Rum X partner in this. I just I really I found out about a month ago. There's actually two of you involved in this. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of what we used to taste. Right, chat, hide that. Uh, Steve Bowman had thought Jamaican rum was going to have a bunch of funk, but don't. Yeah, I don't, we, we've had this whole funk debate. There's, Jamaican rum has got funk, but you know you have to go up in the price brackets to really, really get it. Right, um, da, da, da. right. I've caught up. There's 52 people here and only 21 likes. What's going on? You tell them, man. You tell them. Where is it? Where's the thing? As I say, smash that like button. I'm aware some of you are watching on your TVs and stuff like that, so it's impossible to uh, to smash that like button on a TV. But if you could do, that'd be really, really lovely. Right. Let's. I don't know how to go about tasting these, to be honest. I'm going to taste this first. I'm, I'm going to do it first because I've never had it. Um, where's my knife? There it is. <laughs> So, I've never ever had this, and uh, for those of you who don't know, it is actually a new blend as well. It's uh, hide, there we go. Uh, and let's put that away. Right, oh, I know what I've got to do as well, just for the old, um, just for the old timestamps, uh, it's just so I can go in, and anyone watching this back on the replay, we can sort of guide them straight through. So this is the Mount Gay tasting. Let's go back, whoops, let's get rid of that. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. If any of you got questions, there we go. Pop, right. So, um, what can I tell you about Mount Gay? I don't actually know a whole load about Mount Gay, to be honest, as a distillery. Um, I know they've been around a flipping long time. I think they are the world's longest continuous stilling rum distillery. I think. I think that's right. Uh, that's just knowledge off the top of my head. I haven't looked at that at all. I think it's them that's the longest... Uh, they're not the oldest, but they are the longest, uh, oldest distillery that's been, been in continuous use, if you like. So things like Worthy Park are older, uh, but they stopped distilling for years and years and years and years. Whereas Mount Gay, I think, are the longest continuous distillation, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, this... So this has gone through a couple of revamps over the last few years. 2014, it went through a big revamp. Um, it kind of went, I forget what it was called then. It was like, I think it was Mount Gay. It was part of the Eclipse range. So they had the Eclipse uh, and then it went to Mount Gay Black 
or, or something like that, um, which was all part of that range. And then it got sort of uh, got pimped up a little bit in 2014, and the whole black thing referred to the whole um, the whole the, all the rum in there was aged in heavily heavily charred oak barrels. And that's where the black came from. However, in 20, I think it was in 2018, uh, the, the blender left and then a new master blender came in. I don't know her name. I've completely forgotten her name now. But a new blaster blender came in. And in 2019, she re-blended this again and added this. So this went from 100% uh, um, aged in charred barrels to uh, a blend of sort of not 50%, but... It does actually say on here now, it says double cask blend. So what you've got is you've got American whiskey barrels and you've got those heavily charred uh, oak barrels in there. So it's a blend of both. And I think she's upped the amount of pot still in this or changed or, or, or done something. I, I, I don't know. But as I haven't tasted, um, I, I, I've sort of tasted that 2014 version, but long before this rum journey. Uh, so I've got no point of reference for this at all. From two, you know, from 2019, I've never ever had this rum at all. So I've got no idea. Uh, I will get the Rum X app out though, Mount Gay. And I just need to make sure I've got the proper one here to taste because obviously there's a lots of different Mount Gay black barrels and blacks and whatever we got. So I need to make sure I've got the right one. Uh, XO no. I think it's just going to be this one, black. I don't know. I don't know whether you can see. That's kind of the old. Can we get that large? Yeah. So this is this is the two. This is the 2014 version. Hang on. Hopefully, I should be able to get that on screen. That's the 2014 version. That's what it kind of looks like. And and then hopefully, if I get that side by side, that's that's now the 2019 version. So 2014. 2019 till now all right uh, doo, doo, doo. right so let's let's do that i don't think there is enough i think that we've just got to taste it under the same the same one hopefully hopefully people it's the abv right let's go so 43 percent abv so we've got the right abv in there, in there at least so that'll that'll do right um question let's hide that now let's catch up with some chit chats uh, Jimmy Collins, who's Jimmy Collins? Uh, say hi, hello to Jimmy Collins for me, Steve. Hello, Jimmy Collins. Don't know who Jimmy Collins. Bundaberg, Bayesian in the house. Kyle, are you a Bayesian? Barbadian. Hello, Black Barrels is a good one. Uh, James Collins. Hi, Steve. Hello, James. Let's put you on screen. I like I like having the comments back here, so I can put them on screen. Here we go. Right. Uh, Gus, Gus has got a question. Where do you get the funkiest rums, as in what country to distill them? Jamaica, but you kind of want, um, you, you'll be funky rums, you'll be looking at sort of 70, 80, 90. Um, I haven't properly gone down that route yet, but you'll be looking at um, Hamden's, you'll be looking at Long Ponds. Um, I mean, even that is not too bad, but there are still... I mean, that's tame compared to most of the Hamdens, and that's the Hamden eight-year-old. Uh, so you need to go up in there, but you need to do a lot of research in the marks uh, to go up there. But, you know, I mean, to give you some idea, you, you could sort of taste something like that, Rumbar Overproof or Rain Nephew, um, but that is nothing compared to what you will go up to when you start paying sort of 70, 80 pounds and, and start getting your long ponds and that sort of stuff. Right. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, Clips is very cheap here. Gus. So, Kyle, are you actually in Barbados? Awesome if you are. Brilliant. Uh, dun, dun. Master Blender 2019. They changed the Master Blender in 2019. I've not had any of the new bottles since then. So, while well, a brief break, yes. But I am 100%. The old eclipse was better. I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that eclipse. Right, caught up with the comments again. So uh, let's click the magical taste it button on Rum X. This has been reviewed 78 times so far. 
uh, and I'll give you, I'll tell you, for those of you who haven't got the Rumex app, I'll tell you what, what it averages at the end. Right, taste it. So let's do the old colour. Uh, and apparently this is a lot lighter in colour now than, than what it used to be. So let's go on the old colour. It does look quite light. I'm going, I'm going Chestnut Oloroso Sherry. That's the colour. Uh, russet muscat I think is a bit too dark so I'm going chestnut oloroso sherry that's the colour right nosing I'm still a little bit bunged up I've still got distortion in my flipping ear I haven't had that all week I don't know why it's just come back tonight right distort so after a cold you get distortion in your ear right wow look at those numbers hello people cool this is wow toffee toffee and gingerbread straight away on that Oh. If anyone's got this, let's do, let's do a little taste along and uh, let me know what you're kind of sort of smelling and tasting. If anyone's got it, get get cracky rums out. Let's have a little taste along and a little uh, review along. Right. Uh, oh, Henry, sorry. I should have pointed you in Henry's direction as well for the old uh, funk. Henry can take over. Uh, I forgot who the question was, but Henry can take over on the... Let's put Henry on screen while he's here. Uh, Henry can take over on the funk chat. There we go. Right. Wow. Toffee and gingerbread. I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting a touch of vanilla. I'd probably get a lot more if I had clear nostrils. Um, I want to say sort of orangey as well. It kind of it, like um, orange bitters have been thrown into the mix. Smells quite light, and it doesn't smell sweet at all. Um, quite fruity. Do you know what? It smells like a really light um, column still rum. That's interesting. Right, I'm going to have to punch some of these in now. Uh, so fruity, uh, sorry, vanilla I've gone with. Um, what else could we? Orange peel, definitely agree with that. I want to whack in, but loads of people are woody. I'm not sure whether it's my bunged up nostrils. I'm not getting woody. I'm definitely getting, I've got to add this is. Someone's, quite a few people have put baking spices. I'm, I've got gingerbread. So I'm going to put, I'm going to whack in gingerbread. That's what that reminded me of. And toffee. Ginger, gingerbread and definitely, definitely toffee. Uh, what else did I get on there? I've got the orange. Something else I said. What else was that? Toffee, gingerbread, orange, vanilla. I'm going to leave the wood because I really can't spell it at the moment. Column still. Can I, 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 I light? Let's put light in. I, I, it smells quite light. Can I put light in? Yes, I can put light in. There we go. I can put light in. Right. So, uh, scores out of five. So, for those of you who haven't got Rumex, uh, scores out of five, uh, you kind of on the nose. Um, so, fruit, oh, that does smell. It smells really tropical fruity. Poor. Oh. Hang on, I haven't put any fruit notes down yet. Maybe a bit of stone fruit in there. I'd, I'd go more stone fruit than I would do peachy, uh, than I would do pineapple. So fruit, I'm going, I'm going to go three, three out of five for fruit. Floral, I can't pick anything, but there's definitely got that hint of floralness to it. So I'm going to go one. Spices, well, I get vanilla and I get gingerbread, so I've got to go at least two. I think three is a bit over the top, so I'm going two. Woody, I really don't get, I think it's my nostrils, I really don't get that. I should, I'll have to blow my nose in a second. Uh, woody, but I'll give it a token two, because I, th I think possibly I would give it a token two if I had clear nostrils. Roasted, I'm going to go one, and rounded, that smells quite a lovely rounded rum, I'm going to go three. Right, taste, taste it, taste it, taste it. Let's catch up with some of these. Oh, here we go. Let's, oh, we've got, we've got people doing the old taste along. Here we go, awesome. Right. Da, da, da. Hello, Christine. Right, there we go. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, how do I hide? Hide that, right, there we go. Right, uh, Christine, sounds delicious. Steve, heading out to the shop. 
brilliant. Uh, Brandon, I'm rocking the blue chair bay right now. Oh, not heard of that. Right, I can't right now. I'll get in trouble for taste rum right now. I'd, I'm assuming you're not in the UK. If Strike F16 Falcon, wherever you are. Right, Claire's smelling orange. Uh, Henry, just getting into the funk. You're, you're, you can. You, I know you, I know you know what you're talking about. That's that's the point with when it comes to funk. Uh, Anne on the nose. Uh, Defo toffee, definitely vanilla. Lovely. Uh, Kyle in Barbados. Black Barrel, ha is th this is what this is, isn't it? Yeah, right. Black Barrel has lychee notes too. Cool. I should have blown my... It's only when I started talking. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, flipping hell. I'm at the end of the old roll, isn't I? I need, I need to invest in that. I will mute myself. I haven't got a cold, but I've still... Oh, that's flipping good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I haven't got a cold. I've just you know, start a week long of um, remnants. Give me two. And absolutely nothing came out there. Right. But I can breathe. <laughs> lychee. Can we get lychee? Who, where, did the, where did my lychee comment go? Uh, there. I'll have to come back to this. This smells absolutely gorgeous. Does smell really, really nice. Completely different. You know, I was smelling that and that just put me off Mount Gay. This smells gorgeous, right? I, I can't get lychee at the moment. I really can't. I don't get a banana funk from Anne. Raisins from Claire. Plant, plantation pineapple for later. <laughs> Spices, right. Spiced, almost barrel. Caramel. Is that ginger? I get gingerbread and toffee. I still get gingerbread. It's lychee. Right, Steve the Barman, can you put a Discord link up? I can, I should have that right there. There we go, boom. He's on it, isn't he? He's on it. Now that I've had a sort out and a rearrange and you know, the camera's further this way, so the monitor and all that's proper in there. I've gone back to the old chat where I can put this up on screen really easy. Right, I'm gonna have to dive in for a little tasting. Wow. That's more woody than I was expecting. Bearing in mind, that's my first neat rum of the day. Uh, and I'm just off the back of a Mai Tai. So I'm gonna let that sort of breathe and settle and then come back to that. Um, first impressions, very woody, very, I wanna say toffee over caramel. I get those sort of darker, Well, I'm going toffee, but I was going to say burnt caramel sort of note. So I get that sort of richer kind of sugary vibe to it. Right, let's have, an, let's have another one. Right, that's better. Definitely kind of... Um, do you know what, right? I was drinking Havana seven-year-old through the week. I've done an Havana video. Um, all be revealed... Uh, next week. But Havana 7, I, I always call Havana 7 year old, it's like quite a hefty influence, woody, oak vibe whiskey for the price, uh, rum for the price. That has got those, but it's a lot nicer than the Havana 7 year old. That knocks spots off Havana 7 year old. Right, let's get on with some tasting. It's definitely a rounded rum. I definitely, for me, it's toffee. There is, I like baking spices. I like that analogy. The gingerbread sort of disappears and it is that all round spice character. There is a touch of vanilla in there. What is that fruit? I still want to say stone fruit. I don't want to say like tropical fruit. It doesn't remind me of like a, a pineapple or anything like that. It is that sort of peachy, peachy nectarine vibe for me. I haven't looked at what anyone else has got. I've just pressed the button. I haven't looked. But there is some sort of fruit in there. What's what everyone, what's everyone else got here? Uh, lychee, light. It is very 
this is the thing, right? So it is, it's quite a light run, but there is that pot still um, influence in there. That, that for me goes instantly up like with the sort of um, the Appleton, the Appleton 8 and the Appleton 12-year-old. Um, it's like a nice sort of sipping rum. I haven't chatted about the prices yet. I could give you the prices down here. I've got them all. Oh, and the blend. I've made a note of the blends. Right, here's the other thing I had to tell you. Um, so back in 2014, that was a blend of... Uh, let's get rid of the old Discord link now. Uh, captions, hide, boom. Right, so back in... Oh, flipping out. Back in 2014, that was a blend of two... Where are we? Uh, two to seven year old rums. Now it's a blend of three to seven year old rums in there. So they've got rid of the younger rum in there. Um, higher proportion of pot still. Uh, and yeah. Right. So uh, I, I gave you all those price wise for this. I didn't. Uh, where's the prices gone? There we go. Uh, 35.94. So 36 pounds, Master of Vault. I dare say supermarkets might fluctuate in the UK and you might get that cheaper at some points. Uh, I haven't. I never bother look at supermarkets because they have offers often left, right, and centre for this. Right. Uh, let's go in. Steve, afternoon. Steve Burko, hello. Right. Where do we go? Uh, Luke. I'm very well, Luke. Right, where do we go? Where do we go? Where's 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 the tasting lychee? There we go. Right, Steve. There we are. Right. Uh, not really a fan of the Mount Gay Eclipse. Haven't tried the Black Barrel though. Uh, top cheese. I feel bottles often taste more woody at the first open. Yeah, they do mellow out. I kind of like leaving them sit in a glass for like half an hour or so. Um, I've got kind of used to doing that. Claire, very woody, orange again, nutmeg. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, got Cruzan. Question, Henry. Let's put that up on screen. Do you know when you're reviewing a Mountgate XO? I'd love to see a comparison. I, I was going to get it, um, and I, I've kind of... <laughs> I'm being hypocritical here because it's over 50 quid a bottle. But, so is that. <laughs> but the problem is, uh, Havana isn't at trade prices. Havana is quite away under 50 pounds at trade prices, whereas Mountgate XO is still over 50 pounds at trade prices. Um, <laughs> I will get it in, I will. Um, and that's why I haven't got the Dawley's 14 year old yet, is because I've, I kind of, you know, I've set this stall out as this 50 pound limit or 50 pound ceiling on rums, uh, but there's quite a few that are there or thereabouts. So I'm gonna have to break, I might, I might start saying 60 pounds <laughs> just to get some of these in. Um, but yeah, that's that's why that. I don't know what the price is for you, Henry, over in Germany. No doubt a damn sight cheaper. Right. Uh, After taste of dark chocolate. I haven't got dark chocolate. But I haven't got a bunged up nose now either. Right, I'm going to press the plus button and I'm going to see what other people have put. So, other people have put alcoholic, dry, Woody, vanilla, caramel, peppery, spice, toasted, spicy, smoky. No. Light, sweet, cognac, thin, and clove. No one's put fruit. It's absolutely no fruit mentioned. Alcoholic, dry, woody, vanilla, caramel, peppery, spice. There's no fruit mentioned. There's definitely some fruit. Cognac, grapey. No. It's, I've kind of got stone fruit. Light, tight Cornish pasty. <laughs> I don't know what that's related to. Decky Doughty, the, the Doyle's 14 year old blew me away a couple of weeks ago. Oh my God, that was good. So, so good. Um, I have been toying with getting a, a, a Kube. It's over 100 quid a bottle, but the Kube 1870 as my birthday run. Um, it's my birthday in a couple of months. Well, next month. Um, so I was toying at getting that for a birthday present to myself, but at half the price, that Dawley's 14 was exceptional. And do you know what? If that's that good, I'm half expecting the, the uh, Mount Gay XO to be pretty damn decent as well. That's what I mean. Sometimes you just, you do not need to spend stupid money on rum. Under 50 quid, there are some absolute belters out there under 50 quid. Right. 
Um, I'm not sure I really agree with anyone, any of these. Very 70 odd people have tasted and reviewed this. Vanilla, I'm gonna hit that vanilla button. I'm gonna hit the woody button. I agree with the woodiness. Spicy. I wanna go car I wanna go toffee. People have put caramel. I'll 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 um I'll agree. I'll go caramel on that. Sweet. Has got a lovely rounded sweetness to it. I'm definitely getting fruit. Stone fruit. I'm gonna put stone fruit in here. I don't care. I am putting stone fruit. I is oh, stein. Stone. Oh, no one's, there is no stone fruit. What can I put in there? What is that? I'm going to have to. Is it apricot? I'm going to put apricot. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to put apricot. Hmm. Yes. Woody chocolate. So I put v vanilla, woody, caramel, and apricot. I, th I think I need to come back to that. I think I should have opened that and just kind of let it breathe in the glass for about an hour or so before I tasted it. Orange. I've got to put orange. I have to put orange. Orange peel. Orange bitter. Orange. Orange. What orange options have we got? Orange peel. Bitter. Orange. I'm going orange peel. There we go. Right, sweetness. Two. Two out of five for sweetness. Fruit. Two. Two out of five for fruit. Floral. I don't get much floralness on that at all. Um, I'm going to leave that at zero, actually. Spices. Two. Woody. Oh. I think three is quite high, but it's definitely more woody than fruit and sweet. So I've got to put three, but I, th I think three is quite high for that. Uh, roasted two, rounded, def definitely a three. That is lovely. I'm going to pour myself another little, another little. That's what I like about these glasses. They're deceptive. These glasses only hold 80 mil. So when you put a 25 mil shot in, it's literally up there. So that is literally like five mil. <laughs> really deceptive. I really like these glasses. Right. I'm just gonna kind of I tell you what, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that there. If I if I suddenly shout out later, what the hell is that underneath my blender? Uh it's the Dorleys, uh, uh, the Mount Gay Black Bell. I'm just gonna leave it there and come back to it in half an hour or so. Uh just just so I can uh, just get a different kind of viewpoint to it. Right, finish. Um what are we putting on the finish? Caramel, it's caramel orange for me on the fin, or toffee. But I'll, I'll, I'll bow down to the masses. I'll go caramel and I'll go orange. But that's going to be really interesting to see that in like half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm really, really intrigued by that. Right, done. Right, so scores on the doors. Me oh, medium. Long. I'm going long. I think it's longer than medium. I'm going for a long finish. Right. Let's whack my standard comment on here. Uh, rum X. There we go. Standard comment. Boom. On there. Right. Now I've got to give it a score. Oh. 70 to 79 is good. It's better, than, it's better than good. That's very good. That is very, very good. I like that. Uh, 80 to 89. Would I put it as excellent? That hasn't blown me away like the Dorley's 14 year old did. That really blew me away. So I'd have to put Dorley's, ex uh, four, sorry, Dorley's 14, excuse me, as an excellent rum because that just blew me away. That hasn't blown me away, but that is flipping delicious. So I'm going very good. And I think I might want to go. Um, it's sat on 84 at the moment. I think I'm going 84 out of 100. What's what for other people? Would uh, would other people? If we got, is anyone else coming here with some scores? What if, let's scroll back through these. I don't know what the tight Cornish pasty eating was all about. I had a Cornish pasty this afternoon, to be fair. Uh, 
Right, uh, top cheese. Okay, the change they have made to the black barrel sounds good. Your description sounds good. Seems me having cold feet about the new master blender was completely unfounded. That is great news. Uh, bear in mind, I've got nothing to really compare this to. I'm, I'm, I'm literally talking 2015 was the last time I had this, and it's a completely different run. Um, so I've, you know, we're talking seven years ago, absolutely no idea. Scoop, you might as well say I've never ever tasted it before. Um, so I've got nothing really to compare this to. The interesting bit for me is then gonna come back to trying this against the Dorley's five, the, um, the Plantation five, because they're roughly similar prices. Yes, it is more expensive, but they are roughly in that same price bracket. So that's gonna be interesting uh, for me in a sec. Uh, so that was top cheese. All right, uh, I'm curious about the 14. Decky, the 14, Dolly's 14 is stunning, it's stunning. Uh, oh, Ganimal, Ganimal's pouring some, uh, <laughs> uh, some Dolly's 14. Let us know what it was like. Uh, bought the XO, very cheap from Netherlands, 33. Okay, so good, right. Uh, so you suggest that as a buy, I think this is, oh. I, I, at this precise moment, yes, I do. I think that's a lovely, lovely rum. Um, I, I, I want to taste it against the other two, the Dorleys and that, and I might actually taste it against the XO. The XO is slightly older rums in there, but a very, very similar price. In fact, it is virtually identical. There is 5p difference between the prices, uh, logged out, master of malt. So even though there's slightly older rums, very, very similar prices. So I'm going to crack that XO in a bit. Um, da, da, da. I was thinking apricot, but it's been forever since I had one. Yeah, apricot. I've got, I've got an apricot. Right, Steve, familiar with several four square products. Uh, what would be the next Bar Barbados product to try? Uh, this, hang on, which one's that? That one, that little bad boy. It might look the same as that, <laughs> but it ain't. <laughs> That is the 47, three-year-old, and that is the 40. The 47-year-old white, three-year-old, is a belter. Absolute stunning. That's another video coming up, uh, a daiquiri off with those two. That 47, oh my God, that is good. Um, see, I, th I think I'm just getting into Barbados rum, Barbadian rum. Right, Big G, is Big G in the house? There he is, Big G's in the house. Let's, let's put Big G on screen, there we go. You're right. Uh, just drop it in. Mount, X, Mount Gay XO would be my pick. Yeah, well, he's, he's loaded, isn't he? He's loaded. Uh, <laughs> right. What new catchphrase? What the hell is that underneath my blender? <laughs> that is my Dorley's. Uh, Dorley's? My Mount Gay. What's it called? Black Barrel. That's what it's called. Let's move finish. Casey. Hello. Casey. Silent Z or Silent C? How am I saying that? Z Zanowski or Karnomsky. Sorry, I've just completely butchered that, but hello. Pirate rum is amazing. You could use a bottle of that for your bar. It's on the old list. Uh, 81, Claire's put 81. Am I going a bit high with 84? That's interesting. Where we go, hey Steve. Tom, hello Tom, Tom the gardener. Henry, I might get on the Dawley's train. Do you know what? Um, I've, I've not really given Dawley's much love on this journey um, because honestly, I haven't really enjoyed them. But there's been something about them in the last couple of months where I've just kind of gone, wow, there's some really, really good rums. The 47% white rum is hands down so much better than the 40. So much better. It's just unbelievable. Um, I'll be honest, my first ever tasting of the XO a couple of weeks ago, I was like, eh. but I tasted that after I'd had the 14 year old. <laughs> so I kind of went about it the wrong way. Uh, but the Dolly's 14 was stunning, uh, absolutely stunning. Right, so uh, do, I, do I need to taste the, I'm not gonna taste the Eclipse. I'm not gonna bother. The Eclipse is like a, a 15 pound rum. I'm not gonna, right, Casey, it's like, see, it's like, shh. right, let's go back to your name. Char Charnopsky, Charnopsky, Char 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 Charnopsky. Hello, Casey. Anyway, sorry, I've just completely butchered that again. <laughs> uh, right, cool. So, 
I'm going to lock that in. I'm, I'm going to bring it down to 83. Claire said 81. I'm going to go 83. I'm locking it in at 83. Safe. Right. So uh, now I can do this. I'm going to show you the distribution. We're up to 79 ratings. And that is the distribution. Go on. Focus. There we go. So one absolute weapon has uh, scored it in the 30s. What an absolute weapon that is. What a numpty. Um, to, to be fair, I'm, I'm almost tempted to score those 50s as numpties as well. The three of them that have scored it in the 50s, I think they're numpties. 60s I could get away with. 70s is by far and away the big thing. Look, and 80s and one person's put in the 90s. Um, yeah. All right. I think sometimes I'm a little bit generous. On my, but then I know... Having, having listened to a lot of people talk about the Rumex now, especially, um, especially the German contingency, I know that a hell of a lot of people that are on Rumex are the big rum drinkers. The 70, the 80, that 100 pounds, the Coroni lovers, you know, the people that buy rums on auctions. So there is a hell of a lot of distinguished palettes on here. So I think my scores kind of reflect the average person. But I think some of these scores are, or the vast majority of these scores are from the, the you know, the people that speak, think nothing of spending £80 on a rum. They, they would never spend £20, £25 on a bottle of rum. They just wouldn't do it. Um, I think that's where the sort of scores come from. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It would be interesting to revisit these a year from now and look at my scores and think, wow, did I really give that 83 out of 100? That's like a 72 at best. You know, that's going to be the interesting thing for me personally on my journey. Uh, it's just kind of coming back to these in six months, in a year's time, looking what I gave it and thinking, no, I don't really agree with that anymore. That, that's the fascinating thing for me. Right, so... Uh, any more uh, great buy? What's what's Henry saying there? Charles, Charles in the house. G'day, mate. G'day, g'day from London Town. <laughs> they're, they're down there, Henry. Uh, Henry, uh, Charlie. They're down there, look, mate. They they are the husk. Your your maple syrup rum is there as well. This if I took that off screen, you'd see them better, wouldn't you? They can't, and they're hiding behind there. Look. There we go. That's Charles. This is what this is what Charles Charles the fourth. Uh, brought me all the way from Australia. We met up, we went to um, Black Parrot on Thursday night and we had some tipples with young Mr. Brady. Uh, but that is what Charlie has very kindly brought me from Australia. So we're going to have an Australian rum night uh, in the not too distant future. Right. Of course, Bun Bundy's the best one out of the bunch, isn't it? Of course, it's got to be, it's got to be. Right then. Uh, uh, more comments. Uh, we'd never see here we go and, and I mean this I, I know we have banter with Grant I know this I completely get I completely get it but uh, his palate is way more developed and he's been in the rum world a lot longer and he likes completely different stuff so this is a guy um, that loves spending but Grant just pure amuses what would be the lowest that you would spend on a bottle of rum like would you buy a bottle of I don't know well, I was going to say Appleton eight-year-old at twenty-six quid, but obviously you wouldn't. Um, what, what's your lowest you'd ever spend on a rum? Just, just amuse us, amuse me. And it's not a bad thing at all because he. Uh, so on Thursday we were drinking, and I, he's just blown me away with some Clarins and some aged. What was that? Trois, the twelve-year-old Trois Rivières was stunning, absolutely amazing. Really, really loved that. I've got no idea how much that was a bottle, but I really, really do love it. So I can appreciate what Grant's all about now. Uh, completely different. Right. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, what's Henry? Or oh, I like Henry's got some good chats. If you'd like to see a whole direction, try Savannah. Yes, this was another one that cropped up on Thursday as well. Uh, doing some great rums. Uh, my favourite so far is Rum Nation 2007. Super complex. Menthol, mint, strawberry and apple. Can I save? How do I save? I've got a little star. I don't know what that star does. I've just starred that comment, Henry. I've got no idea what that star does. <laughs> oh, I've got a pinned message. It's not on screen, uh, but I've got a pinned message so I can remember that. Savannah. Uh, Henry, at me in Discord. Just put Savannah rum. I'll know exactly what that means. 
Right, so uh, what should we go for next then? I think, as Geraint's in the house, uh, we're gonna crack out the stringy, his favorite string. Grant is a massive plantation lover. <laughs> massive plantation. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that Mount Gay uh, just over there. I'm gonna come back to that, but I'm gonna just pour like a fresh bit just to sort of do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, with the old um, plantation. So I've already rated and reviewed this. So I can, I think, well, I'm assuming I have. I'm pretty stupid if I haven't. Uh, let's, sorry, just, just so I can uh, put the old timestamps in again. Let's just do this. Uh, so this is now the plantation tasting. There we go, right, hide, right, that'll cool. Just so I could do the old timestamps. I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've done this tasting. I haven't scored this, oh my God. I'm gonna have to score it. I've not done it. How have I missed that? Right. Well, that smells completely different. Oh, interesting, I'll get glue off that now. Whoa. Where did that come from? Top cheese, yes. Yes, Carta Blanca. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my crowd, whoever's with me tomorrow uh, in Bibe, I'm gonna get them on uh, the, uh, the wrong base tomorrow. I'm gonna convert them all to wrong Kube. Right. So, uh, 43 people have tasted this, this plantation. Um, it's averaged 70 out of 100 so far. So, uh, what can I tell you about the plantation? Uh, I do know some stuff about this, uh, but I've just cut and pasted it off the old interwebs. Uh, Barbados, 40%, molasses-based, twin column and pot still. Three to four years uh, tropical aging, one to two years um, France aging. Cont what do they call it? Continental. I'm sure it's continental, continental aging. I'm sure that's what they call it. Um, and then 16 grams of sugar. That'll be the big thing, Mount Gay is unsweetened. Um, so in theory, we should have a sweeter rum here. So old nostril taste, let's go tasting. I can't believe I've not done this. So this is really light. Is this lighter? Oh, similar, similar. It looks, it looks a bit lighter in the glass. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going lighter. I'm going lighter. So what did I call that? I called it chestnut aleron. So this has got to go burnished. I'm going slightly shade lighter. Um, definitely vanilla on this one. Definitely toffee. Definitely toffee. This is interesting. See, I now get tropical fruits off this. This does remind me of pineapple. And I can only assume... Yes, it's a different distillery, but I can only assume it's probably that little bit of sugar that's added that'll bring different flavours out. I dare say, if you added a touch of sugar to that, you would probably get some sort of tropical fruit vibes on there. I'm quite happy with the apricot that I got off that. Um, but definitely, definitely sort of pineapple. A few people have put coconut. I'm not not 100% on the coconut at the moment. And I'm, I'm not, it's not woody as well. It's not woody, but it does smell a little bit sweeter. Other people have got uh, sweet, fruity, uh, woody, orange, coconut, cinnamon, fruits, olive, popcorn. Popcorn's not a bad shout, actually. I'm not gonna agree with it, but it's not a bad shout. Metallic, prunes and pastries. Right, um, so, Scores, fruits, I think it's fruitier. I'm going three, floral, one, spices, dialed back. They're, it's not as spicy as the Mount Gay. Uh, woody, it's nowhere near the, the Mount Gay. Roasted, nowhere near the Mount Gay. And rounded, um, yeah. Right, taste wise. Well. This is the, wow. This is the fascinating thing now, when you get to this point in the rum journey. I don't think that's a sweet rum. I would never in a million years class that as a sweet rum. That is a damn sight sweeter than what that is. That is bonkers. 
that's really sweet compared to that, that. But, you know, nothing compared to, I'm sorry, I'm not pointing to Wendy's 5 plus 5. Nothing compared to those Diplomaticos. Nothing. But that is quite sweet. But because of that sweetness, that is really tropical fruit. That is the pineapple notes in there. That is a little bit of coconut in there. There's a lot of vanilla in there. Nowhere near as woody, oaky as what the Mount Gay XO is. You can completely see where the rum community divide on this, 100%. That, that's where the rum lovers sit. That is 100% now for me, an entry level rum. 100% and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I really don't because I do really like that. That's definitely got a place. But that is what you want from a sipping rum. That is, that's, I can't get over how much sweeter that is. Right, let's hit the old plug. Before I do this, does anyone taste along with me here? Um, right. Uh, Geraint, seriously, cheapest for a long time was Ron Kube, Carta Blanca. Well, that's 25 quid, big G. Grant loves plantation because he can't afford shoelaces. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's great. Uh, six pounds for a two and a half litre bottle of Cavalier for us. Is that is that like uh, Diamond White? What's that? Oh, hello. Cred Words... Is that right? Cred Wordsful. Plantation five year is the only one of their... They sell around me. I like it though. Uh, Casey, Methuselah rum is back. I haven't got down Methuselah route yet. I need to. I need to go down the Methuselah route. Uh, what is so, uh, right? Um, hang on, Steve. 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 Uh, probably someone's already answered this, but uh, it's still wrong. Wrong thing, Steve. It's that. It's the app. I don't know where you are, Steve, but in Europe you can get that. You can't quite get it in Australia. Well, I'm assuming you're not in Australia, but. Uh, in the US or Canada at the moment. It will be coming to you. You can go online, the desktop. It's not just, it's not quite as good. Well, it's the same thing. You just can't log in and do tastings on desktop, uh, but you can on the app. That's what it is. It's the Rum X app, all right? Sorry, right, there we go. Uh, come back to the old chart. Right, hide, hide that. Right. Uh, Claire's get vanilla coconut, yeah, 100% agree with that. Wendy's beat me to it, sorry, Wendy. Uh, cinnamon, cinnamon and... Uh, da, 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 plantation plant. Banana, banana, that's not a bad chat, actually. That banana's a really good shout, actually. Really, really good shout. 100% adding that in. I'm stealing. I'm stealing that one, Claire. Right, banana. Uh, banana. Coconut. Um, come here. Right, there we go. Uh, caramel. Um, I'm getting a little bit of honey on this. It's that honey mash, mashed up banana. That's kind of, you know, that's where I get those honey notes from. It's like a mashed up banana-y, honey kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to put honey, definitely coconut, definitely orange. There is mild spice in there. I think it's probably just vanilla for me. Um, I don't think that's wood forward at all. I'm not, you would, you would taste a little bit of woody oaky notes in there, but not, not too much at all. Um, right. So let's score it out of there. Sweetness, three. Fruits three because i think the sweetness brings the fruit out completely different there floral one out of five spices because of the vanilla and all that two out of five woody one token one out of five roasted one rounded two finish medium fruit finish bananary honey vanillary fruit finish for me uh, the pineapple's definitely... Oh, did I put pineapple? I don't think I put pineapple, did I? No. Plus pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple. Pineapple. There we go. Right, pineapple's in the house. 
The pineapple disappears on the finish. It is that banana-y honey finish for me. Comment, uh, rum X. Right, done, boom. So score, bloody hell. Now I've got to score this. Now if I've, if that's in the 80s, that is really, right. I don't want to. I don't want to lose anyone. I don't want to put people off, but that for me is now nowhere near as good as what that is. Nowhere near as good. But it's still delicious. I would still a hundred percent have that. Drink that. I would. It's just as a rum. That's lovely. Um, so scores for this. Uh, I've forgotten what everyone else has done now. I'm going. I'm not going very good. I'm going good. And I'm going to go... Saturn 73. I'm going to go 73. What else has anyone else got? Claire, Claire, are you tasting along? What are you, what are you scoring it? What are people scoring this out of 100? I'm fascinated. I like this one better. You like this one better? Okay, interesting. I completely get it. I completely... Absolute get it. It's it's delicious. It's just it's just sweeter. What I'm gonna do once I've got the Dorley's five, I'm then gonna do like rum and cokes, rum and gingers. Uh just to do that. I just want to sip them neat first before I do that. Um Yep, smells like dry. Ian, oh, that's it, Ian. I love, I love the empty glasses. I love the noses of empty glasses. Dried coconut. Hello, Greg. I 100%. Right, let's go back to... I'm still getting softer. I'm just trying to think of like uh, people like Scott. Scott, you're here, aren't you? I'm sure Scott's here. I'm, I know Scott's here. Um, Scott, for you drinking rum fashions, he, here's how I want to describe this. I think you have more control over. Sorry, I get a bit, a little bit um, OCD with that. Uh, you have more control over rum fashions with something like that than you do that because that's hasn't got the sweetness to it this has this for me i potentially wouldn't add any sugar to a rum fashion in that just the ice for dilution and a, a bitters but i might i might add just a um maybe on maybe on that actually like a little hint of demerara sugar as a rum fashion on that um but then you could argue that that's i don't know I'm, i might be talking out my backside because that's Sweeter, so therefore you don't need to add sugar. I don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people f people sort of sit with their rum fashions. Uh, after two or three, they all taste the same. <laughs> Mike, go on. Evening, grumpy. <laughs> there it is. His, sh his shoelace comment. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love his... Uh, I love the banter. I love it. Gordon, uh, just got given a bottle of Mount Gay for my birthday. So looking forward to it. Gordon, Gordon Watson, what Mount Gay? Uh, the Black Barrel, the XO, the Eclipse. What have, what have you just been given? Oh, sorry. I put that on screen. Uh, damn what I correct. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that on screen. There we go. Right. Black Barrel is underrated rum. Good sipper, but good mixer as well. Yeah, I kind of want to try it as a mixer. I can't wait. Windy, I'm not driving, but I have to do a taste along when I can. Mount Gay Black Barrel, Greg, right? Oh, Greg, what's Greg saying? Mount Gay Black Barrel is fantastic. Uh, I haven't tried the other Mount Gay because I like this one. Nice. Claire's gone 83. Claire's gone the other way around. Interesting. Uh, so Claire's gone higher. Yeah, because you gave it 81. You gave that 81 and that 83. Right, I'm going way lower. Um, just crack the four square spiced holy cinnamon. <laughs> cool, I haven't had that spiced rum for a long while. Casey's gone 75. 
Uh, Robert Wilson's gone 83. Can't, can't drive to get the black barrel. <laughs> uh, I've got COVID and my bed is calling. Good night, Henry. Thanks for coming. Get well soon, my friend. Lee, go to bed, go to bed, Charlie. What's Charlie saying? Feel well soon. <laughs> right, uh, it's 9 p.m., leave me alone, flat beer boy. Yeah, some bads are going on in Discord earlier about fizzy bubbles. I just saw, I just saw that before I came on. Right, so uh, I'm going to lock that in at 73. I'm saving that. Right, here's the rated distribution of the plantation, just so you can kind of see that. It's definitely better than 40. It's definitely better than 50. I, to be honest, I think it's better than the 60s. I, I, most people are in the 70s. Um, I think that's where it kind of belongs, to be honest. Happy with that. Right, so the third one in this trilogy, let me just have some water. So. Uh, now, here's, here's one, and I'm going to put this into a poll for you lot. Do I... I'm going... Um, what am I doing? I'm doing the Dawley's five-year-old. Three to seven-year-olds. Five-year-old. I don't know. This is where... How did we get away... I'm not getting anoraki or geeky, but how... How do we get away with calling that a five-year-old? Tropical Asian of three to four years. And uh, I suppose, yeah, sorry, I suppose we could. Continental Asian of one to two years. I'm thinking, well, hang on. If some of the rums are one year and three years, then you put them together, they're only four years. But if the four-year-old has been aged for a further year and the three-year-old has been aged for a further two years, yes, all right, okay. Claire... Clever, yes, we will we will grant Alexandra his uh, stay of execution on that one. I kind of get fascinated when looking at stuff like this about how it's written, because you could look at that and think, well, hang on a minute, how is that a five-year-old? I get it, all right, I get it. So the four-year-old would have been aged for an extra year, and the three-year-old would have been aged for an extra two years. So we have got a minimum of five-year-old rums in it. Right, now, the question I want to know, Mr. Chickster, hello, Mr. Chickster. The question I want to know is do I compare the the Dawley's XO to the Mount Gay or do I do the five year olds? If we're talking prices, now we've got them all out to play, prices, 30, 36 pounds say in the UK, um, Master of Malt online, 36 pounds. Uh, the plantation, 28 pounds. £28.45, so very, very similar. So we're still talking £7 more expensive than those two. But the Mountgate XO is on a very, very similar... Stop jangling. It's on a very, very similar price. The Mountgate XO is literally 5p difference. So the Dawley's XO is literally 5p difference to the Mountgate. So I think I do need to compare them both, if I'm being honest. Uh, so I might have to cap that rum in a second. I surely must have rated this. So where are we going? What's this Dawley's? I must have, I must have scored this. Do, foot? No. Do, or. Do, 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 do. I've not, oh my, oh no. Five. Where's the bloody five, five year old? Hang on a minute. Where's the Dawley's five year old? What's going on? Dawley's 12, Dawley's XO, 14, Dawley's XO, Dawley's 5. Is that it? It's a, it's a wrong bottle. It must be it. They must not have updated. Henry, not Henry, Oliver, you need to update the photos. Right, I might do that for him. I've not rated the Dawley's 5-year-old. And only 16 people have reviewed this. This is interesting. I'm not sure whether to do that. I've probably not done it because it's the wrong bottle. 40%? 40%? It must be. It's just the old bottle. I don't know. I'm just waffling on at the moment. 
I'm just waffling on. I'm gonna I'm gonna review this one, even though it's the wrong thing. I might update the label because uh, I'm pretty sure there's not another five year old here. Eight, twelve, three. Dawn is McCaw. No, there's not another five. That has to be it. So this is what people are using. Right, let's go. So I've not reviewed this. Right. Whoa, honey. Whoa. So different. So different. Honey. Right, if anyone's if anyone's doing the taste along, I'm going to do the Dawley's five and then I'm going to do the Dawley's XO. But I'm going to have a little sip of my tie and then I'm going to have a little sip of water. Ganimal. I can see that. The Dawley's 14 is the best rum experience I've had so far. Do you know what? I would have said very close to being the same, actually. But I did have some belting rums on Thursday with uh, Charlie and Grant. But that Dawley's 14 is exceptional. If that Dawley's 14 was... Here's, here's a statement for you now. If that Dawley's 14 was behind this bar right now, that would be the best rum I own. The, the Santiago 11-year-old is pretty damn good as well, he says. Where's my Santiago's? Where's my... Where's my San... Oh, there it the, the, I need the new label one as well. I need to do a head-to-head. -head. The, the new Santiago versus the old Santiago to see whether they've changed it. Uh, the Santiago 11 is stunning as well. Um, but for out rum experience for rum kind of thing the Dawley's XO if that was sitting here would easily easily be my favourite rum it is just immense I love that stuff and I don't know why I would want to spend a hundred and some odd quid on a birthday bottle when I know I'm going to love the Dawley's 14 year old at just under half the price or just over half the price I should say right uh where do we get to? 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 We got to there. So, uh, Charlie, I thought necking rums at Rumfest was your best experience. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, not sure I will bother with the XO. Uh, no, I've, I, the XO is just purely here just to compare it to that that's that's what i'm doing here i think i think the xo deserves to be compared to that just purely on price um it might be completely different um i don't know been doing my tie since 12. right so the old nostril test on this oh i've got to do the color first it's darker oh. i'm going the same color as that mount gay which was Chestnut, excuse me, chestnut Oloroso sherry. Right, so, on here, completely different nostrils. Uh, honey, toffee, some spice, it's that baking spice. I wanna be, I wanna be specific, Pacific, I wanna be specific. It's definitely more uh, oak barrel aging coming off that compared to well compared to that um, are probably similar levels to the XO actually it, I've got to stop calling it the XO it's a black barrel that's more toffee caramel forward for me than that it's almost very very similar but the black barrel is more pronounced oh, very very similar nose so uh, vanilla uh, toffee Definitely. Uh, wood, oak, definitely on there. There's something. What are those spices? There's some spice on there. And I don't know whether it's it's this fast. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back to that. It's been, where are we, 40 minutes, that Exodus sitting over there. But it's almost like this is softer, more rounded out, more mellowed. And I don't know whether it's a rum or I don't know whether, like, because the bottle's been opened for a while, I don't know whether it's just mellowed out over age, but it just, it's like that, but just mellower. Oh, oh, that's interesting. 
about there. If you don't get it right up to your nostrils, if you smell it there, definitely kind of uh, varnish, gluey varnish. Well, I'm going varnish. I don't, I don't get it when I get my nose right in. But there, definitely kind of varnish. Definitely right, let's put varnish in. I think I have to add that. Varnish, varnish. Right, varnish. Done. Right, what have other people put? Other people, vanilla, toffee, alcoholic, oak, fruity, red fruits. It's Ganimal when he's flipping red fruits again. I bet that's you, innit? Uh, red fruits. Woody, caramel, salty, banana, glue, sweet, citrus. I can't put sweet because that's nowhere near plantation. Nowhere near plantation for that. Right, so agree with that. So, scores out of five, Rumex. For those that are joining, I can see loads of uh, loads and loads of new people have just jumped on here. Uh, hello, Wellington. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen, this is what I'm using to... Um, uh, why is that on screen? I don't want that. Hide. There we go. Um, this is kind of what we use for um, scoring, essentially. All right, so it's the Rumex app. Not quite of available in the US and Canada yet, but it is all over Europe. Right, hide. There we go. Right. And I will just flash this up on screen just for the... For the loads of newbies and all that just i'll keep that scrolling just for a couple of seconds right if anyone's um uh if anyone's kind of smelling along and tasting along then it's be called cool right uh so fruit i'm going i'm going two i gave plantation three so this has to be a two out of, come on there we go right two out of five floral Nothing really. Spices, two. Woody, two. Roasted, definitely two. Rounded, two. I think that's, yeah, pretty much it. The only thing I'm not giving is floral on that. So out of five, those scores are. Right, and then taste-wise, here we go. Hmm. Wow, again, that's completely different to the plantation. Big toffee notes. Sorry, I just saw Robert. Robert, uh, you're using Rumex in Florida. The website or the app? If you've got the app, that is awesome. Um, and I know uh, the, the um, what's it called, Rumcast. One of the Rumcast guys is Florida and does speak and chat to Rum X Oliver and that a little bit. So whether they could, I don't know how it works in the US, whether you can roll it out state to state, I don't know, but that's really interesting if you've got the actual app in Florida. That's really interesting. Uh, right, this, um, definitely more woody oaky than what the plantation is, 100%. It's got a lovely toffee sort of vibe to it. The varnish, disappears, 100% disappears. There's nothing like that in the taste. Um, I don't get much fruit on the taste either. I wouldn't say tropical fruits. It's interesting because I, I think deep down, inherently, they've all got to be pretty similar rums because of the climate, because of the terroir. It's all done, bearing in mind, the distiller. So you've got three different distillers there for a start. The distiller is going to be yeah, so they've got different... I'm talking out on the backside. You, you, you've got potentially the same raw material, potentially the same molasses, sugarcane, similar-ish from the terroir. Uh, but then you've got very, you've got different three different distillers, and there and three different types of stills and shape stills and blends of cot pot and column stills. So you've got three different blends going on. But inherently, you've got a very similar style of rum. Like, you're not going to mistake any of those for a Guyanan rum. You're not going to mistake any of those for, like, a Spanish style, like a Dominican Republic, or um, where, where else can we go? Puerto Rico or Cuba or anything like that. You're not going to taste those and think, oh, is that Havana? It's just not going to happen. And again, you're not going to taste those and think, oh, is that Jamaican? 
So they, you know, they have got that underlying characteristic that is similar through them. But three completely different rums. Completely and utterly different rums. Um, this is really smooth. I don't know, I'm trying, there's a little spice in there. It's not vanilla. It's like, um, it reminds me of like the tiki spices. It reminds me of these Elamakuli tiki spices, like cinnamon, nutmeg and clove. It's that, it's that subtle element of, I don't know what that is. I would probably go all spice in there. Like that five, like five spice sort of blend. Delicious. Right, let's add some of these in. So, um, toffee. I've got to add toffee in. Um, I'm going to add all spice in. Damn, I've got to bloody find that now. Uh, all spice. There we go. Right, uh, toffee. If I put in. It's a subtle hint of wood, not too much. I just don't get any fruit characteristics off it. Interesting. I'm going to leave that there. Right, scores. Sweetness. Now, this is really interesting. I'm going to give it a two. That was a three, but that is a completely different three. This is the fact, this is the... The only downside, I can just see that scroll. Sorry, I know that scroll annoys people. I'm going to, sorry, hide the scroll. There we go. This is the really fascinating thing with this. Because with when you get scores out of five, and the Rumex app has gone too far down, too many people use it now to change it, and I completely understand why it was five for the spider diagrams. But if I give that a two out of five, and that a three out of five, Right, my my issue is when we come up to like uh, the Diplomatico, which is a, a four at that scale, but to say there's only one notch sweeter than what that is, is just ludicrous. That has to be like a, if that's if that's a three, the Diplomatico has to be like a, a six or seven. So out of five, you then have to bring that down to like a two, which then makes that a one, but then when you get something like, I don't know, some of these other whiskies, uh, the, these um, rums that are kind of really whiskey influenced that are like, you know, that, you, can't, you can't give them zero for sweetness because they've got a little bit of sweetness there. So oh, it's, a real, it's a real fascinating one, this. Um, yeah, but it's two. Fruits, I'm going naught for fruit. I really don't get fruit. If anyone gets fruit on this, oh, and my comments are off, sorry. I'll scroll back through the comments. There we go. I'm back on. Right, and then just scroll up. Uh, Wellington Cirilla, that's where I was. Right, so fruit, I'm going nothing. Floral, I'm going nothing. Spices, two. Woody, two. Roasted, two. Rounded, two. Uh, finish, medium. Toffee, vanilla is what I'm put on the finish. Toffee... Even though I can't spell it. There we go. Toffee vanilla. There we go. Finished. Medium finish. Boom. Comment. Uh, um, X. Boom. Right. Uh, now I've got to give this a score. Right. So 83, 73. This is not very good, but it is better than that for me. So I'm going 78. I'm pretty confident. It's landed on 77. The year I was born. I'm going to stick with that. I'm quite happy with that. Um, save. Locking that in. Right, so this is the overall ratings. There we go. That's the, uh, what's, what's it called? Rating distribution. There we go. So one in the 40s, two in the, again, the majority are in the 70s. So uh, before I do the old rum and rum and cokes and that, I am going to do, I'm going to taste the Dawley's XO alongside this, but at this precise moment, where do I sit? Very, 
very easy for me at the moment. First place, second place, third place. And I know if you go back and watch a video that I did maybe September, October time, I know that I put that ahead of that. I love that compared to that. That's how much my palette has changed in, I was gonna say six months, but we're probably talking eight, 10 months now of tasting lots and lots of different rums, finding out what I like and what I don't like, different styles. That's really, because my palette has completely changed, really changed. But definitely that number one for me, number two, plantation number three. But I completely understand why a lot of people that's gonna be their favorite because it is the sweeter one out of the three. So that's in the whole five, loose five-year-old category. As I say, three to seven-year-olds, uh, which means we kind of, on price, we do have to kind of compare um, the old Dawley's XO on this as well. So let's go back through the comments uh, before I do this. I wonder why we only get the, what's it say? Wonder why we only get the Dawley's five, five-year-old Dawley's. Norway is frustrating when it comes to rum selection sometimes. Uh, we'd love to have tried the XO, the 14 from Dawley's. Rum mix in Florida. Oh yeah, I saw that. I thought I'd sort of seen some of these. Right, hide that, so. Right, so I have, right, did we get to the bottom of this? Have we got rum X in the US now? I will try and figure it out. Love the Rumcast crew. Rumcast is such an awesome podcast. I feel like I need to start them again. I've, I've listened to every show, but I think I need to go back and start. Now I understand even more about what they're talking about. Uh, Woody Peppery. Uh, Mr. Chickster. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in US. I went to the App Store. And there it is. Installing Rumex now. Oh, look out. We have got it. We have got in the US. This is awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. For you guys in the US now, uh, go and download this app. If you can get it, if it's there, flipping brilliant because it's when it comes to like drinking rum, it's, it's not so much the whole reviewing it yourself. It's looking at what other people have scored. Like Henry, who's been on here, I know he's gone to bed, but Henry has, when you go, when you find him, you can't, this is the annoying thing about it, you can't go and search for people specifically, but you can search rums that you know they've reviewed and then you can find someone and then you can sort of scroll through their reviews. So you can do it that way, but it's interesting to find, it helps you find similar rums. This, this is the whole point. You know, if you've got a certain type of rum that you like, it then really, really clever at helping you find very similar rums. I love, it's a genius app. It really is a good app. Right. Uh, let's go back to the chat. Uh, yes. Don't get fruit on that. Rum is desktop computer. Uh, I'm USA. 81 for Claire. Tasted, who's that? Dolly, Rob Wilson. Uh, Dolly's XO $20. I'm sure I just saw, ah, oh, Decky, there is. Decky, uh, a tasted rum XO on the rum, a tasted X, Dolly's XO on the rum X a few days ago. Just gave it 75, interesting. Right, okay. We call it empty, empty, empty. Right, let's try and, let's use the other knife. I like, I like to be all uh, OCD and uh, make sure we get, get a nice kind of, there we go, nice tear on the bottle. Right, so I've had this once. It was at Manchester Rum Festival a couple of weeks ago uh, and that was with loads of other rums. This is my first proper, proper tasting of Dawley's XO. Uh, it's a darker rum, right, let's, come on, get back in the old, there we go. Right, Dawley, let's find Dawley's XO on here. Dawley's XO, sherry finished. I don't know actually much about this. What have we got on the back of the bottle? Uh, for the house of Martin Dawley, there's a manager, well, it's Richard Seale, essentially. Uh, second maturation is carried out 
with oak already seasoned in the aging of Spanish Oloroso sherry. And the result is, a, I think that says delicate. I've got pretty good eyesight as well. Delicate fusing of complex flavors giving a rise to rum. See, this is the, this is the thing as well. At a price point, it's a rum. Those are the three to compare. Sorry, let's let's get rid of this. This sorry, hi. Right, those those are the three to compare. Right, the the black barrel, the plantation five, and that similar styles. However, this is going to be naturally it, because it's Richard Seal. There's no sugar added to this. There's absolutely zero sugar added, but there is that lovely sherry um, notes that will come off the barrel. So you are going to get a sweeter flavour and nose of rum on this, even though no sweetness has been added. So is it a fair comparison to add that to compare that to that? Not really, because they are completely different rums. But price point, this is where I'm just going at price point. That's all. That's the only reason for this comparison because there is literally 5p in it. Okay. And you could argue, well, surely I should be doing the Appleton and all that in there as well. But I'm just going Barbados rums in there. So uh, uh, make sure you get the 43. Oh yeah, that's a point. I'm on the 40 percenter. Is there a, is there a separate Doyle's XO? There is. Thank you, whoever that was. Decky, legend. Thank you very much for that. I would have totally done that the wrong thing. Dolly's XO, the 43% ABV. Yes. Um, and also, just a note as well. I've had this chat as well with um, a couple of people in the know. Master of Malt have now delisted the Dolly's 47. The three-year-old 47%. Uh, and they're just sending you the, the 30. Hence, I've got card of two. However, I have it in good authority uh, from, apparently, well, from Pete Holland, who is the UK brand ambassador for Dorleys and Foursquare and stuff like that. Pete Holland is under the impression that Richard Seal is putting all of his emphasis on the stronger rum. So he's doing away with the 40 percenters. Now, from what I can gather is that Marussia that import Foursquare rums to the UK have probably got a backlog of 40% rums. So we'll stop distributing the stronger rums so we can sell out of the 40 percenters before we get the 43s because there is a 40% Dorley's XO, but we should be on the 43 percenters, all right? Um, and I think the Dorley's five-year-old might be going up in ABV as well. So don't be put off if you can only get the 40 percenter um, three-year-old at the moment. I have it on very good authority that the 47 percenter is here to stay. You just might not be able to get it at the moment. Right. Love. I added to I added pick. I added to pick. It's not coming up yet. Oh, well, Decky, I'll, I'll leave the pick, hopefully. I know they kind of... Sometimes when I add picks, they go up straight away, and then other times they sort of take like three or four days. So I don't, I don't know what happens with that, but awesome. Right, so, wow. <laughs> yeah, it is totally different. Like, not even comparison. Sweeter. Yeah, sweeter, sherry. It's Oloroso, isn't it? What is it? Yeah, Oloroso. What's uh, uh, Pedro Jimenez, isn't it? Dos, Dos Madeiras, Pedro. Is it Pedro? It's got to be. Uh, Windy, what's, um, yeah, oh, PX. It's old Pedro. Have I got, that's, um, Ron Kube is Oloroso. I think it's Oloroso. I can't read Spanish, um, but I'm sure it's Oloroso, even though Oloroso should look the same. Uh, there's no mention to It's a, it's a lot of Spanish words on the back of the bottle of the Cube. Suave. Uh, I don't know what sherry cast that is. For some unknown reason, I do think that's Oloroso in there, but I don't hold me to that. Right. So, this is... This has had 42 reviews. Let's let's click the magical taste it button. Colour. Let's do the colour. Where's darker? 
So I'm going to have to go... Auburn. I'm going Auburn. Right. I mean, the first thing that hits me is flipping Sherry on there, definitely. Um, it's fruitier. It's heavier. Not as light. Still that sort of wood note coming through on there. The oak aging. I forget what this is. I'm sure this is like three to eight-year-old rums in here. With the, with the more majority of older rums. I'm sure that's what it is in here. Um, right. I'm, I'm looking through what other people have got. Vanilla, woody, caramel, fruity. My green with any of those. Caramel, I'm going to green with. And wood, I'm going to green with. I don't really get the vanilla. Loads of people have put vanilla. I don't really get the... I don't really get the vanilla off this. Um, right, next line. Dried fruit, raisin, and coconut. Definitely the raisin. I'm agreeing with that. Or dried fruit. Uh, I'm, I'm agreeing with the raisin. Coconut. Again, new bottle. That'll be fascinating. I haven't got time now. Um, but that'll be fascinating to kind of let that breathe just to see uh, what that kind of... Um, we're getting on for we're getting on for an hour now for this. This is going to be interesting, right? Um, then the next line: brown sugar, alcoholic, and treacle. Love the treacle shout. That's a very good shout. Uh, clicking that. Uh, then the next line: roasted butterscotch and clove. Do you know what? The more I smell that, the more I'm thinking banana. Banoffee. That's what I'm that's what I'm kind of getting off that. A little subtle hint of banoffee. No one's put that. Roasted butterscotch clove and then burnt sugar and light. Um I'm gonna whack in banoffee. I'm gonna add it. Because I like to be different. Banoff how do you spell banoffee? Why does that not come off? Am I what? Please tell me someone's... Is Banoffee not added? Oh, I'm flipping out. No one's added Banoffee. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to put Banana Toffee. I need to... Right, there we go. Done. Right, I'm happy with that. So, uh, scores out of five. Fruit. Oh, because of that sherry and raisin -y sort of fruitcake, uh, I'm going... I think three strong. I'm going for two. Floral, no. Spices, two. Woody, one. Roasted, two. Rounded, two. Tasting, oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. That is not as sweet as I remember it from Rumfest. That totally took me by surprise. I was expecting that to be a lot sweeter. That's really not. What happened? So at Rumfest at Manchester, I've still got it on, look, the little black thing. Um, I had the Dawleys 12 and then went to 14. I didn't, I, I thought the 12, I wasn't going to bother with the 14. I just Pete pulled me some 12. And he said, if you tried the 14, I was like, nah, so it's all right. Because I know that, take like the El Dorado, I prefer the 12 over to the 15. The Appleton, I prefer the 12 over the 15. So I was kind of like, with the Dorleys, nah, it's all right. I've, the 12 year old, I like the 12 year old. That's going to be where Dorley, Pete was like, oh, go and have it. He gave me some 14. And I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. I love the Dorleys 14. Then I went back down. So then I went to the Dorleys XO. And then Pete gave me the RLC or 10 as well, because the 10 would sit in between that and. Uh, so the seal with the wonky bottle sits in between that and the 12 year old um, and I just found this really sweet but I have to say that's not as sweet as I remember it that is gorgeous I don't think that's as sweet as what that is 
In fact, I know that's not as sweet as that is. I've got plenty of wood coming out in there. That is still, for me, by far and away, the sweetest rum there. By far and away. Right, uh, vanilla, definitely agree. Woody, definitely agree. Spice, definitely agree. Caramel, definitely agree with that. There is an element of dark chocolate in there as well. Interesting, there aren't much fruity notes coming out from this. And, oh, there's a few down here. We've got dried fruit, mango. That's it, oh, coconut. Some fewer put coconut. Oh, someone's put chocolate. There we go. Oh, chocolate or dark chocolate? I'm going to I have to put dark chocolate. It's not dairy milk. It's definitely dark chocolate for me. Dark chocolate. There we go. Right, dark chocolate in there. Barrel oak. Oh, there is a peppery. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to click that as well. Um, coconut, no. Dried fruit. Mango, no. I, I will agree with the dried fruit. Is There is just very, very faintly. And to re put this in scores wise, so sweetness, two. Fruit, uh, one. Is a hint of fruit there, but nothing major. Floral, nothing. Spices, two. Wood, three. Roasted, two. Rounded, two. Finish, flipping long. It's around my, the tannins are around my gums. The sort of the the toffee, the caramel. That that lengthy sort of sherry finish. That is kind of long for me. Right, rum X. Just the notes. Boom. So scores. Is anyone scoring this? Is anyone? Has anyone scored this? Out of a hundred. I I think I have to put this in very good. Is it better than Black Barrel? I don't think it's better than Black Barrel. It's completely different. I'll tell you what. It's an hour. Let's um, let's go back to this. Right. Wow, it smells a lot more mellower now. Been it's been an hour in the glass, just sitting there. What did I put for it? Right. I'm, so hang on. Before I do, I'm going to lock this in. Um, I'm going to score this. 82. Right, just before I come to that, I'm going to save at 82. Um, I don't know what... Uh, it was a Decky, wasn't it? I'm sure it was Decky. Uh, let, let's just give you the uh, re the review. Wow, look at this. What was it? 40, 43 ratings. Look at that. That's what people think of this rum. Look at that. Only two in the 60s. So the majority are loving this rum. Right. So, what did I, let's go back to, what is it, it's the Mount Gay. Let me, let me amuse myself. Mount Gay, Black Barrel. Taste again. So, on the old nose. Vanilla, orange, gingerbread, toffee, light. I still agree with all of those. It's just mellowed. What did other people put? Woody. No, I'm still not getting much wood off that. Smoke, smoky. Interesting. There's a bit of smoke in there now. There's a lot of smoke in there now, actually. Wow. What is that? That, um... What the hell is that? 
popcorn. I, that reminds me of what there's in there as well. Popcorn. Um, Modin's popcorn syrup. Smoke. I'm going to have to add... Wow. I'm not going to add these in. I'm going to I'm going to forget it. I'm going to come back to it in a few months uh, and do it then. But that's just an hour. How different that is. Well, that's been sitting out for an hour as well. But yeah, it, it smells so different. Wow, it's fascinating. Fascinating. What's it like in the taste? Oh, it's still lovely. It's still lovely on the taste. Right, so we've done all the tasting. The one thing I did want to do before I kind of finished up, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go too much past 10 o'clock tonight because we are down at Imbibe and it's, uh, it's an early train for me. It's an early start. Uh, I'm gonna do the mixing. I would say, hang on, let me just go through these comments. Uh, yes, it's a lot more similar in price. Uh, Mount Gay is 43. So we're, talk we're chatting prices. Okay, that's cool. I uh, don't know how to add a channel into my Discord. I get invites and... S okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, 38 here in the UK. I'm gay for... <laughs> George. San Diego. Nice, George. Right. I'm assuming... How Richard Priest, people are replying to Richard Priest, uh, Alco's tax bar calling the air. There we go. Right. I'm assuming that, get involved in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming the vast majority of you would buy those two as a rum and coke. I don't think many of you are going to be buying those to sip them neat. I want to know if you'd buy the Mount Gay Black Barrel for rum and coke. I'm going to do the rum and coke test on these um, because I think that's there. Now we'll get my slightly bigger glasses out for this. Um, I'm partial to a rum and coke from time to time. Not often. I do, I do prefer neat spirits, but you know, I'll quite happily have a rum and coke from time to time. Okay, right, a cube of our, I tell you what, that flipping, that's all I can flipping smell now, popcorn. <laughs> wow. So, oh, I tell you what, waste not, want not, waste not, want not. There we go, let's do that a bit more. <laughs> By the way, my, um, my I've, sh I've still not sure what to do with this. Where's it gone? My um my my slops dregs bottle is nearly full, virtually nearly full. Um, so that little bottle there is just full of slops from like this from tastings where I've not finished a bottle. So that is like the ultimate navy rum, <laughs> the ultimate blend. Right, so Dolly's uh, Dolly's five in there. Plantation, pop, five in there. There's not well, there's nothing left in there. There's a lot of you on. Loads and loads of new faces on here tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'll tell you what I will do, I'll pop on. If you are not in the Discord already, do definitely come, come into the Discord community. Do definitely. We do have a separate area for members. Um, but there is the outer part of the Discord, which you are welcome to come and join. Of course you are. Right, Mai Tai. Let's just have my final sip of Mai Tai before I get in the rum and cokes. Right, Coca-Cola, rum and coke. This is, I'm hoping to get off as you mow the lawn. Great tasting. 
Crack the door is 14, rum fashion for me, uh, me too, Liverpool tomorrow, train choo choo. Wow, not many people, David, David, I prefer the four square spice to Chairman's and Cane Rock, mind you. Not many people say that. If um, four square spice doesn't actually have that much love, to be honest. Um, that's really fascinating. I've not had it in Christ. I can I can remember the last time I bought a bottle, uh, and it was it was in a, it was in a past life, shall we say, <laughs> uh, where I was living north of Cambridge. Um, so we are talking. 2014, 2015 was the last time I bought a bottle. Right. Rum and Cokes, rum and Cokes, rum and Cokes. Right, so I think we are there. So the ultimate Barbados rum and Coke off. Let's, let's start down here. I would not waste my Mount Gay Black Barrel in a rum and Coke, sorry. Gonna reserve judgment. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. Now, God, that's interesting actually. North of Cambridge faints. What's why? Why, why are you fainting? I live in Cheshire, so it's all cool. Why? Uh, why? Why? So, for me. This is really funny. Uh, captions hide. Right, there we go. Back. This is really, really funny. Question, is there a link to Discord? I've just flipping taken it off the screen. <laughs> please tell me, Rob, please tell me you saw that. It was that. <laughs> S2BLive.UK forward slash Discord. I'll leave that on screen for like 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, there we go. I'm sure that was, I'm sure that was just banter. You're having a laugh. You must have seen that. Right. So, rum and coke. That's my favourite. Plantation is my favourite. Um, I wouldn't have any of those three as a rum and coke. I mean, they're nice, they're acceptable, but that is, that's the one I'm going to come back to. I think it's, I think it's the extra sweetness and the flavours that are bouncing around in there. They are too strong in rum for me. I, this, this will become relevant when you watch the video. I think it's not, it's not even the first video that's out, it's the second video that I filmed. Um, this will all be relevant when you hear that. If I want a strong tasting drink, I'm gonna take I'm gonna drink neat rum. I do not have rum and cokes for strength. I do not have any mixed drink for strength. I like weaker tasting mixed drinks. Because I don't see the point. If I want something strong, just drink neat rum. You know, that's where I am. For me, they are too harsh uh, to be rum and cokes for me, the plantation is that sweeter uh, all round the session rum and coke. But am I going to buy that now? I am going to buy that. I am going to buy that. Of course I am. I would totally restock that. But my favourites out of the four to drink neat Mount Gay, Dolly's XO, second, Dolly's five, third. 
Plantation, fourth. Neat. Rum and Coke, first. <laughs> uh, probably that second, actually, to be fair. Third, fourth, Coke. And I know that's exactly how it's going to go with ginger ale as well. I can taste that so easily. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to stick my neck on the line and say that's not even suited to a ginger ale. I, I, I can taste it straight away in there. It's, it's just something, it's, it's, it's not going to work for me as a rum and ginger ale, 100%. That will, I know that will work for a rum and ginger ale for me. That definitely will for a rum and ginger ale. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not enjoying that as a rum and coke at all. That's the one I'm coming back to. Because it's weird. It's this weird thing. Rum... I've I've lost my sweet tooth, and I really do enjoy those things sipping neat. But for me, that's just too harsh to drink that as a rum and coke. The plantation is lovely as a rum and coke. Lovely, right? Um, where do we get to in the comments? Uh, the, the, Oh, scrolling up here. Right, Cheshire. I can see Cheshire. Uh, right, there we go. Right, the 14 Dawleys was close. Whereabouts, Decky, Northwich. Oh, you northerners. Plus, the Spiced is next on the list. David, good shout, good shout. That might come out to play uh, Navy, not Navy Day. What's it called? Black Tot Day. God, the gas is getting me straight away, isn't it? <laughs> Come round, Christ! Don't 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 go round to Gadamals. Jesus Christ! They'll have you on the shots before you know it. Why always rum and coke? I can't get on with coke in any rums. It's it's the big nine ninety percent of people that drink rum, and this is not a generalisation. Ninety percent of people that drink rum drink rum and coke. We know that. That's a fact. You know, it blows people away how much. The tiny majority of percentages that people drink neat rum. And I know you're a ginger ale, you're a spiced orange ginger ale, I get that. Um, but, you know, that is a tiny, tiny minority compared to rum and coke. Rum and coke is the big, big thing. It is. Like neat rum, neat rum in, in all the sales of rum that c contribute to neat rum, people drinking it neat rum, you're talking literally like 3-4%. Um, the overwhelming majority, literally 70s, 80% of all rum is rum and coke. It's just how it is. Uh, too many my tyres, thanks for the invite. I completely agree about the rum and cokes. Yes, Robert. Like my tie, love this my tie glass. It is. Um, you're in Discord. Cool, cool, cool. Right, Decky, Decky, come into the. I'll put it up on screen one more time. God dear, come into Discord. For those of you not in Discord, come into Discord. <laughs> did, did he? It's just something about a rum and coke. It, it just, you know, it, the rum and coke is, it's like, it's like Jack Daniels and coke, isn't it? It is it's that thing, especially in the UK. I don't know about trends in the US and in Europe and Australia and all around the world, but in, de in the UK, you know, the, the big trends outside a pint of beer, especially in the male orientated world, the big trends are rum, spiced rum and coke. Jack Daniels and Coke. They are the big, big two sellers by a million, million miles. You know, it's, it's just not even a comparison. People that drink daiquiris compared to rubber Coke, tiny majority, again, a minority, again. It's just how it is. You know, you can, people, the rum snobs, the rum geeks can go, oh, it's all about neat rum. I, you know, I... I, I, I totally get their point, but the point is they miss out on or miss literally 75, 80% of the market. Probably higher, 85% of the market. I'll have to look at, I haven't seen 2020. When do I, I saw 2020 stats, I haven't seen 2021 sales figures yet. Uh, right. 
I agree. Bingo, Ringo. I agree. As a barman, very rarely asked for neat rum. Gin and tonic. Ugh. He swore. He swore. He swore. Scott, where are you? Scott. Scott. He swore. <laughs> uh, I'm a coke for him. Decky. White. Lefty. You look like an alcoholic Tyson Fury. Thanks, Lefty. <laughs> you you look like a, a big L. <laughs> Sorry, that was too easy. <laughs> have you tried Old Monk? Uh, I haven't, actually. Oh, have I? I might have had a little sample of it. I can't think. I've packed all the samples away. I might have had a little sample. I've not had a bottle of Old Monk. Something's telling me I've had a little sample. I don't know. Uh, I've been hunted. 80% rum and Cokes, 15% ginger beers, everything else, the rest. Yeah. Right. Message. Oh, look out. Gan Ganimal's got his... Uh, by, the, by the way, Lee, this, this is this is Ganimal. Oh, this is Ganimal. Lee Gannon is Ganimal, by the way, for those those for me. He, he's got his stalker territory on now. It's like, Decky, run, run for the hills, Decky. What about rum tiki cocktails? Rum cocktails, minimal. Minimal. It, it literally is. You know, you're talking, probably you're, you're talking things like the pina colada. Um, if you're going to encounter the uh, dark and stormy in that as well as a rum cocktail, all right, it's just rum and ginger beer, but as a rum cocktail, that would be encountered in there. Um, mojitos, again, mojitos are big sellers, but they're, they're not huge. You know, they are grouped in with pina coladas and stuff like that. Tiki cocktails, probably a percent, one percent of all rum sales. Tiny, 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 tiny. Um, what's this? Perhaps people would drink neat rum if they were... Sent yeah, 100%. Uh, 100% I agree with that. Right, so this this is the point, and I'll probably finish up here, to be fair. Uh, this is the point, right? If you walk in, especially, and I'm just going to include Cambridge in this, and bear, bear in mind, I've been out more times in Manchester this year alone than I have in Cambridge, which is literally like eight miles away from me. All right? I've been out more times. I do not go out in Cambridge. I just purely, for that comment, for that comment right there, because what's the point? When, when you go out and your, your selection is, you know, yeah. I, my, my big thing is what I say all the time. I'm lucky if I go out in Cambridge and I see one plantation rum behind the bar. You know, it's, I went to, I won't, I won't name the bar because I know he watches me from time to time on here. Um, I went into a bar and they had uh, the old fashioned on the menu. I said, uh, can you do us a rum fashioned? Uh, this was a couple of months ago now. Uh, rum fashioned. He was like, yeah, 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 we're doing rum fashioned, no problem. What would you, what, you know, what, what would you like with it? And I was like, well, what have you got? And he showed me his rums, and I like my spiced rums. Don't get me wrong. I, I do. I Sometimes I still have that sweet tooth. I like my spiced rums. But the selection was, let's put it like this, Kraken was the premium spiced rum behind the bar. <laughs> there was just no choice of rum. There was Mount Gay Eclipse as a normal rum and um, Appleton Signature as a normal rum. Now, they're not bad rums, but I, I, if I'm going out and spending £5, £7, £50, £10 on a drink, I don't want to be spending £10 on an Appleton Signature. I want to be t spending £10, £12 on an Appleton 8-year-old. You know, it, so... That comment right there is exactly why <laughs> Manchester, London, at least you can go, at least you've got decent bars where you can kind of go out and think, oh yeah, let's go there. You know, let's let's have a, a decent drink there, sort of thing. Right. Uh, I think that's <laughs> Ganim Ganimal's got the stalk on now. Right, I'm gonna end it there. For those of you uh, coming to Imbibe tomorrow, I will be landing roughly, I'm hoping to be landing at 10, but uh, I was hoping to be with um, 
Charlie and Garant at five, and then I got stuck on red lights on tubes. Uh, yeah, so bingo, Ringo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Where are you in Cornwall? I'll come back to that. So, all being well, I should be in London by, I should be in by at 10 o'clock, but it might be closer to 10.30. Uh, and I am down for the night as well because I am uh, doing drink stuff, stuff on Tuesday. Uh, but I won't be there all day Tuesday. I'm literally doing a couple of hours to do a vlog, video vlog. I might do a bit of vlogging tomorrow. Uh, so there will be a vlog of Imbibe, the UK's biggest bar show that will be going out on the Drink Stuff YouTube channel. Um, so that's what we've got coming in store for there. But Bingo Ringo's in Helston. Bingo Ringo, I don't know whether you know, I'm uh, Red Ruth. Well, I'm, I'm obviously not, I'm in Cambridge now, but I'm, uh, well, Red Ruth, in between Red Ruth and Camborne, uh, Luckin Highway. That's that's my neck of the woods. Uh, that's where I was born and bred. That's my opposite opposite pirate radio, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so yes, that's my that's my neck of the woods. Next Sunday is next Sunday. Hang on, next Sunday must be Craft Rum Club. Next Sunday we have got Craft Rum Club. I'm not going to show you the rums, uh, but we have got. I was going to say something really bad then. We've got one brand, depending who's coming on, should be a brilliant, depending who will come on for them. Uh, some of you might get to meet him tomorrow, uh, depending if they're there. I don't even know whether they're there tomorrow. Um, so next Sunday is the Craft Rum Club unboxing. Meet the makers. Uh, so we're going to be chatting to two of the brand owners, distillers, next week as well. They'll be on live on screen. Uh, so that is next week. Spiced rum tasting and a rum tasting. For those of you in the Craft Rum Club, you will be able to do a taste along as well. Um, so that is going to be awesome. But then the week after, hopefully if I can do it, my membership community might be having a taste along as well. Uh, we'll see. I'm just waiting to see what date they come back with. Um, but we shall, we shall see. But the videos restart next Wednesday. Uh, that's coming up there. Thank you very nice. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Love from India. Ah, oh, hence the old monk. <laughs> hence the old monk chat. Uh, thank you very much. And I will see some of you tomorrow in London. London time.